hello friends welcome to another video in the series of setting up ci cd for android application using github actions in the last video we discussed how to set up android lint check using github actions and we had created one stage or one pipeline for lint and we also generated one artifact which is available down below and we saw that we were able to download this artifact and we were able to see the entire lint report today we will discuss how to add unit test cases using github actions so we we are in on the second stage in this entire flow we have already discussed the lint check and today we will discuss the unit testing and then i will discuss about other things in the upcoming videos so let's dive right in just to showcase we are using this expense manager sample application to set up the entire cicd process for us and let's also go to the code base to see uh, what all test cases we have we have unit test cases as well as instrumentation test cases but we'll our focus in this video is on the unit test cases we have a lot of presenter test cases and some util test cases as well so let's run these test cases from our local machine and see how, what kind of report they generate so i'll use getlw command and run test task it will run the entire test case and because i have ran it previously it's quite fast because i have not made any changes in the code base now let's take a look at the report it generated the report will be available under app build then inside this we have reports test cases and then we'll use debug test report and there will be an index.html file this will have the entire html report for us and this is how the report will look like we will see all the packages and the total test cases that we have and if we uh, want to go down further we can click on the package and see the entire test cases and in that also we can click on the class and see what all test cases were there we will try to publish this report using github actions so that we can take a look if something fails so let's go to our code base so this is our workflow file main.yaml and last time we had already created the lint check there is one change that i have done in this is when we upload the artifact i just renamed the file name so that it's very clear that it's about lint because we'll be uploading more artifacts and it might become confusing uh, which report it is when we look at the artifact section now what i have done is i have created another stage called unit test and i have added lint as a dependency to it so now what will happen is this stage unit test will wait for lint to complete and then only it will start running and you will see the same over here as well when we will run the workflow so if i click on this and go to one of the workflows currently you see lint once we add unit test cases you will see an arrow and then unit test case stage and this is the part i was referring to when i was talking about report so by looking at just index.html we are not sure what report it is but now that i have changed it to lint.html it will be very clear now that we have discussed about what this needs mean uh this part is same we are running it on the ubuntu machine first thing in the steps we are doing is we are checking out the code base on the machine and th this is something that we have discussed in the lint as well then we will run getlw test command which we ran from our local as well and it will make sure uh, to run the test cases and then finally we will upload the test report and i have given the name to this as unit test report so that it's very clear when we look at the 
artifacts and I am publishing the entire directory of the report not just the index.html file because the index.html file that it generates it requires a lot of other things like JS and CSS uh, uh, files as well so we need to have the entire directory so now let's commit this and see uh, how github action runs it so I'll I will commit this I'll name it as added init test cases and push this to master and remember that we have set up the CI workflow to run whenever there is a push on master branch so the moment I will push it it will start running the check let's push the changes and the changes are almost pushed yes it's done now let's go to the repository yeah so this is our commit that we just added and we have start seeing the yellow dot against it so let's click on this and go to details so currently it's running the lint check and because our unit tests have a dependency on lint it will make sure to run the lint test uh, lint first and then only it will go to unit test cases so we'll let it run and then we will also see how it behaves over here so currently it's running the lint stage and unit test case it's waiting for the lint to complete and currently in the artifact section there is nothing because the lint has not completed yet so let's wait for it and hopefully it will be done soon it has started executing the task and every time it's running fresh because uh, every time we push the code base it checks out on a new machine and it will run everything from fresh and that's why it will take some time because it will set up the code base and then run everything now that it has run it has passed successfully and it has uploaded the HTML report as well now it has ex started executing the unit test cases and the same process will follow again it will check out the code base on the new machine and then start running the test cases as we can also see it's downloading the latest cradle version and it has started executing the task as well and hopefully it will be done in few seconds okay it has started running the task yeah so let's wait for it and meanwhile let's also notice how the summary looks like as we can see the lint has passed and it's running the unit test cases now and the artifact it has not yet uploaded I think it will upload at the end yeah as we can see we, we are seeing two artifacts now and both the stages have passed now let's uh, go down and see so now we can clearly distinguish between the lint report and the unit test report and now let's download the unit test report and see how it looks the report has downloaded let me open this Now we can see uh, the exact report that we sign our local machine that we have 20 test cases and all of them are passing and we can go down further and see the individual test cases as well. So this is how we can set up unit test cases using github actions and create a different stage for different checks that's it for this video uh, in the next video we will start looking into instrumentation testing and how to configure it using github actions 
Till then, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss the upcoming videos for all these. Till then, goodbye, happy coding.